Hi, I'm Jacques Pépin. Today we're going to do a dish that I remember from my mother. Chicken jardinier, jardinier means garden in France. So it's usually fresh vegetable from the garden with the chicken. So we have leg, I have the thigh and the drumstick. That's the part that I like the best in the chicken anyway. We're going to saute that with a little bit of pancetta here, which is unsmoked bacon. We cut it into pieces, it's called lardon. And uh, we're going to saute the chicken in there too. We're going to singe it a little bit, that is a dash of flour on top of it. And we're going to put a bit of white wine in it, water, and then all of the vegetables from uh, mushroom, garlic, potato, carrot, uh, onion, peas at the end, and certainly a bouquet garni, that is a little bundle of herb. I have uh, bay leaf here and parsley and thyme. Any of that will work good. So, we'll start with the lardon. And as you see, this is a scroll. And you cut that into pieces. It's good to follow the recipe at least once so that you know what it tastes like. And after that, you should make it your own. Okay, so that's gonna saute. We're going to have the bouquet garni here. Then we have the tedious process of peeling the onion. The idea here is to have things approximately the same size. Potato. Sometimes people don't peel the potato. And I think it's okay when, uh, especially when you're going to roast the potato, but when you're going to boil them and the skin become uh, not particularly good to it. So I have tiny potato here, the, the small red bliss potato, or this fingerling potato, any of that will work. I have mushroom with that. The mushroom I just wash. There is nothing wrong about washing with our baby Bella mushroom. Nothing wrong about washing it, providing you wash it at the last moment, not ahead. When you're ready to use it, you wash them and use them and it's fine. Garlic. Three clove of garlic should be fine. Crush the garlic a little bit. That will release the skin. And now we chop the garlic. That will release the essential oil in them. And I will put peas in it at the end. And those are nice and tender. Now the chicken, in that case here, we're going to remove the skin of the chicken. Now that skin, I'm going to roast it. I put it into the oven, flat like this. On this side, that is the part of the skin should go on the tray so it stick to it. A bit of salt and like 30 minutes, 375 degree oven, you have beautiful crackling. You know? And my wife loves that. I have a beautiful cast iron cocotte here. That beautiful to present the dish in the cocotte, family style. So I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, peanut oil on top, like a tablespoon or so, and my lardo. Okay, so now it's nice and uh, the lardo are browning, so we start putting the chicken to brown. Better wash your hand after you do chicken. Okay. Put a bit of salt on my chicken. Pepper. So three, four minutes. Light brown, you know, don't have to be brown that much, just a little bit. Yeah, like that, looks good. I think it's about brown enough. So here, I want a light viscosity in the sauce, so like a tablespoon and a half of flour. So you spread it on top. At that point, you add your liquid. In that case, I have some white wine, about three quarters of a cup. Some chicken stock or water here. Nice, well seasoned. So that's it now. My bouquet garni, for taste, 
the mushroom, carrot, all the garlic, onion and potato. I'm going to bring it to a boil now, then put it on low and cook it for like 45 minutes. Lower the heat, that's it. And now we can have a glass of wine. Now very tender, chicken is very tender, vegetables are tender. Don't forget to remove your bouquet garni here. And you can serve that just like that in the middle of the table. It's absolutely beautiful. Or an individual portion, a whole leg. Make sure that you get a couple of carrot, a couple of potato, some peas, carrot, one more mushroom, and that's it. My mother would be proud of me.